Well, hey everybody, it's Shani with The Nostalgic Gal. I have a what sold for you today. It's actually gonna be two weeks of what sold. My full-time job did not allow me <laughs> to get a what sold in last week. So I'm gonna do two weeks. Um, sales have been, I don't know how it is for you. Maybe you're doing great and that's amazing. I'm happy for you. Um, but you know, I had a tough, a tough, tough week at work. I'm a hospice on-call nurse. So I work seven days in a row. I start my shift on Friday night. And then um, I feel like my, I got this new um, camera stand and I feel like it shakes. I'm so sorry if it shakes a little bit, I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, I, I was busy. I was busy, I was tired. I did not sleep um, well over the weekend. I did lots of visits and it was one of those weekends where as on-call nurses, no matter what, no matter what type of on-call nurse you are, any nurse for that matter, but on-call nurse, if you're getting slammed on the weekend and you know working 12 plus hours and then you're up through the night as well, you sort of start asking yourself, what are you doing? Um, so it was one of those, <laughs> it was one of those weekends this last, um, yeah, let's see. I, I came off of call this last Friday. Um, so I had started call that Friday before. And uh, yeah, so I've had a couple days to catch up. It is Monday, um, the 29th, I believe. Yes, what is today? I think it's the 29th. Yes, it is Monday the 29th. So my cells are going to be from Monday the 15th to up into today. So through Sunday the 28th. So for two weeks, I had 16 cells, um, which really like my week on is really reflected. Um, I... I just didn't, I didn't post, I didn't post. So, and that's what stinks about having a full-time job and trying to do this, but I'm not going to be, you know, upset about the 16 cells that I did get. Um, I'm very happy. Um, each week I had, um, you know, $85 gross. And then the next week I had um, $84 gross. So I did about the same in the two weeks. Um, I think I said 16, I had 17 cells total, 17 cells. So anyway, let's get to it. I still, even though my cells aren't great, um, I appreciate every single, you know, cell that I did get. And I still want you guys to see what's selling in my closet and out of my inventory um, so you can see, you know, what, what it's selling for. Um, so, yeah, on Monday the 15th, I had one eBay sell. It was this Generation Skin Hydrating Marine Algae Eye Patches, 30, pa 30 pairs. They were new. They were sealed. Um, so, on June 28th, I was garage selling I got two bags. It was like um, this woman did like the boxes, the subscription boxes, um, probably FabFitFun. She had full size um, boxes. So that's what I was guessing. So she had two big Ziploc bags. I paid $13 for all of it. And then what I did is truthfully, I wanted some of it. So I took out what I wanted and then um, I posted, I kind of looked up some other things and I could have, I could have made more. The things, some of the things I kept would have sold um, on eBay or, you know, in my booth. I have a flea market booth. Um, and so I, I, I really needed some things. So I kept what I wanted. This just happened to be one thing I almost kept because I do like the eye patches. 
Um, they feel so good like on your eyes <laughs> when you take them off. Um, so I just decided it was sealed. I didn't really need it. And so this sold for $15 and 99 cents. Um, so after fees and shipping, um, I do charge for shipping. I made $13 and 30 cents. So that's my $13 back, um, from the two bags. So essentially I got all that stuff for free for myself. I did post, I think I posted a couple more things and then I put quite a few things in my flea market booth. And so, you know, I, I got the bags for free essentially just from this one sale. Um, on the 16th, I sold this Judy by Susan Paley, Gons, Bella Casa, Whimsical Lady Vase, Pen, Pencil Holder. I kind of added that. I saw some other listings and um, I liked all of the description and their title. So I bought this on July 1st at the Goodwill. Yeah, I bought it at the Goodwill for $2.79. I almost didn't get it. Comps were kind of everywhere, but for some reason, this little Judy vase had, was selling and it wasn't selling for a bunch, but it was selling. And so this sold for $9.50. I did take an offer on this, I believe. Um, so at the end of the day, I made $4.43 on it. It was a quick flip. Um, it did have some crazing. I mean, I, sh I don't know. I shouldn't have bought it probably, but it actually sold quick and I made $4 and you know, 43 cents. I do like hard goods. I like selling hard goods and it's really because I feel like with hard goods, the measurements are easy. You just hold up a ruler next to whatever it is you're posting. You don't have to worry about pit to pit measurements and you know, length measurements and waist measurements. It's like you set the item down on a table and you take pictures of it and you might throw a ruler in there um, to give people an idea. I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. I'm trying to be more selective on hard goods because of my limited space in my garage. But now I have a, I got a storage unit right outside of my neighborhood. It is literally walking distance, um, like not even a half a mile. Okay, so I'm super excited um, to get that. So I can possibly get more hard good items and just take it there. So anyway, um, so I sold quick. Um, you know, I had it in my inventory for 15 days basically. And I think actually it sold after just a couple days of listings. So on the 17th, I had two sales, both eBay. The first is this Liz Golf Audra Women's Golf Short Size 10 Size Zip Blue Texture. I've had these forever. Truthfully, I, I, it, when I, go, when I start going through my bins and I, I've kind of already started that, um, these were, I have two other pair, I think, and I was gonna just take them out of inventory and redonate them because I'm like, okay, I'm sick of these things taking up space. I have had these, I think for a couple years now. And so I did a half off sell in my eBay on my older inventory. And I sold these for $4.80. Um, so I don't even have my cost of goods. I know it was cheap. I think I got them in a bag sale. And so I'm gonna say they were probably a dollar or less. And so at the end of the day, I made $3.49. <laughs> Come on, get it. So I'm getting ready. <laughs> I'm like, it is what it is at this point. Um, so yeah, they're gone. And the second sell that day was this Bur Burberry Lo London Polo Long Sleeve Men's Extra Large, um, solid brown, and then it had the Nova trim, the Nova check trim. I got this from that lady's garage sale that was, um, she was closing down her Poshmark. She was 
She said, I'm sick of dealing with scammers. I'm sick of, you know, blah, 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 blah. She was like, I'm just gonna sell locally. And so she was having this massive garage sale. This was marked up, but it was also Burberry. It was my first Burberry piece I have ever found, actually. Um, I live in the Midwest. I live in Missouri. I'm very centrally located. I don't find a lot of designer items. Um, and you know, I thought, what the heck? So on June 28th, I got this at her garage sale for $15. Um, so I did, I did, um, spend up on this. I was taking a chance on it and I sold it for $29. And um, so my profit after fees and shipping was $9 and 57 cents. So I didn't profit a whole lot on it. Um, it did not, it didn't sit for a while. You know, it was, it was in and out of my closet. I had a couple messages on this item. Some guy, excuse me, some guy um, asked me if this was authentic. And I said, well, um, for all of my research, because I did research this piece. I wanted to, I don't want to post things that are not authentic. Um, and so I researched it. It appeared to be very authentic. And I was very honest with him. And I said, in my research, this appears to be an authentic piece. Um, you know, I am not a designer seller. So, you know, I, I mean, I was honest. I was like, from, from my research, it's authentic. Um, and he did not buy it. I was not going to spend, you know, $15, $30 to authenticate this long sleeve shirt. It appeared very authentic. And I did do my due diligence in researching it. Um, so, Anyway, another guy came along and purchased it. So it's, uh, yeah, it is what it is. If I wouldn't have like paid up for it, I definitely, you know, would have made more, but it, I made $10 almost. So on the 18th, I had one eBay sale. Um, they were these, um, is it Naot? 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 Rihanna sandals, strappy women's shoes, leather, summer beach, size nine these longer than I thought. That is an actual, that's a really good brand. Um, usually I, I mean, I've had this brand several times before they don't sit like these did. I bought these. Hmm, when did I buy these? April 22nd for $4 in a bag. So <clears throat> they were in pretty good shape. I already have positive feedback received from her and yeah, so they sold uh, discounted at $20, $21.60 plus shipping. And I made, after everything, $13.36. So I was glad to see them go. Um, I don't know why they sat that long, truthfully. But anyway, they, they're they gone now. So thank goodness. Um, on the 20th, I had a double Poshmark sales to the same women to the same woman, but she did not bundle. She just purchased them separately. So I shipped them separately because I didn't want that to be a thing. Um, and yeah, so she bought both of these Vionic Debbie um, flats. One was burgundy, one was blue. I knew they were gonna sell. It was just, you know, waiting for the right buyer. I bought these at the same garage sale as the Burberry shirt. Um, I purchased these for $8 a piece. Um, and then they both sold for $29 a piece. I gave a shipping discount on each of them for $2.02. So I made $13.18 on each of them. So, um, you know, 26 whatever on each of them or on them together. So I was super excited. I'm really trying to like bump up my Poshmark closet and kind of get it going. I have, I've really struggled with Poshmark. I've been very open <laughs> with you guys about it. I'm just, I feel like Poshmark is so high maintenance and I'm just like, come on, like share your closet, do this, do that. Like, <laughs> I don't have time for this. Um, but I'm trying to, I do have Vindu and so and I have a virtual assistant. And so I'm like, why am I not using these tools I'm paying for? So I'm trying to be more 
um, intentional with that. So I was very happy to, um, because if, if I can at least make, you know, a Poshmark sell a week starting out and just, I would love to, you know, see more Poshmark sales. And I feel like I'm kind of getting there and you'll see, I have a couple more through the next week, but on the same day, the 20th, um, I sold this um, Knox Rose 100% rayon teal embroidered peasant top, boho size um, double X. And I I like Knox Rose. Um, it usually sells quick if you if you're marking it cheap enough. Um, you know, it is a target brand. People aren't gonna pay, you know, $30 for something that you can literally go to Target and get. But um, if if your cost of goods is really low. The thing about this is I was super upset. I did not get this in my inventory and I don't know why. I think I just missed it in a pile of stuff. And so I um, I put down that my cost of goods was a dollar because if I'm not going to the Goodwill, the Goodwill, ugh, I'm, I'm struggling with that because I moved, I moved recently. And so my thrift stores that I absolutely loved and with lower cost of goods, they, um, they're an hour away now. So, you know, I'm limited on some of the places I go. So I do have a Goodwill here in our town and yeah, but anyway, I think I got this at a garage sale for a dollar. And so I did put that into my inventory um, cause I was sitting here trying to think like, where did I get that? And it, I really am pretty sure I got that at a garage sale. Um, so I posted it, I sold it for $11 and I made eight eighty seven on it. Um, especially the plus size, the, the higher size Knox Rose, they typically, they sell pretty, pretty fast for me. So I, I like to pick them up. They're usually quick flips. Um, so on Sunday, the 21st, I sold this Nike Dry Fit Green Cotton Tea Tank. Um, it was an extra small. Um, it was in really good condition. I also got this at a garage sale for a dollar. I got it on June 20th. I sold this for $8 and my profit was $6.13. So this was the weekend. I started working on Friday the 19th. Um, so I started working at 5 p.m. I worked um, my full-time job. I did not get home until after 2 a.m. Um, I got very little sleep. I was up by 6.15 charting. I hit the door. I had several visits and an admission to do that day. So I had no time, no time to try and post. Now, could I have had things in my in my drafts ready to go and just put push, you know, list? Yes. And so that's my goal. I'm going to go over a few goals I have, um, you know, for this next couple weeks. I'm going to strive my best to meet my goals. And so, yeah, but let me tell you, you know, that Saturday I made these three cells. I worked 12 plus hours. Went to bed at night. Went to bed at like 10:30 p.m. Was up um, with an emergency at 12:30 a.m. Came back to bed, slept an hour and a half, and then was out the rest of the night. And then Sunday turned around and worked. Um, I want to say 12 hours. So it was an exhausting weekend. Um, and so these four cells during the weekend that I got, I was very you know, happy with, and yeah, you got, I'm, I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, and you know, it was my fault I wasn't getting the sales because I wasn't listing, I wasn't sharing my closet, I wasn't doing much, but um, I was actually trying to survive. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, this week, the 15th through the 21st, I had nine sales, my gross profit was, or my net profit was $85.51. So it's 85 bucks. It's a bill I can pay, you know what I mean? And that's, I feel like if you do it part-time, um, even if you have no intentions of ever doing it full-time, 
um, that that's the goal is to be able to make payments and to be able to pay off your debt or, you know, maybe you want to buy, you know, I don't know, a Garmin watch for $500. I don't know. You have your own reason on why you do this part time. And so, um, yeah, just keep on doing, keep on listening. And, you know, I've got to encourage myself <laughs> every single day. So, Anyway, next week, I had eight cells the next week. Um, I made no cells on the Monday the 22nd. On the 23rd, I had an eBay sell. This um, Free People Beach Jude Biker Shorts. They were rouged. They were lemon, linen blend. They were women's extra large. Um, I paid $3.91 at the Goodwill for these on July 13th. And they flipped fast. I... I think I had them posted for maybe four days. They sold for $14 and I made $8.25 on them. Um, free people, I'm trying to be more picky with. It's, it's, it's hard not to, I know how expensive it is. It's really hard not to buy free people, um, especially larger sizes. I feel like the larger sizes do sell better. So on the 24th Wednesday, I had a Posh sale and an eBay sale. On Posh, I sold the Soft Surroundings Blue 100% Linen Blouse. Um, it was a size 2X. It had like a three-quarter roll sleeve. Um, I just really, I, I know other resellers do good with like Soft Surroundings and um, Lori Goldstein and... Uh, I just, I am struggling with those. And so anyway, um, I was offered $16. I took it and I bought this on April the 18th for $1 at a bag sale. So my cost of goods were, were low. It sold for 16 and I profited $11 and 80 cents. So that was nice to see go. Um, then on eBay, I sold this Squishmallows plush headphones, Can the Cat, Kelly Toy. It was from 2022. Very cute. I was so surprised. I had tons of watchers on these. And it just set and it set. And like, it. this is from my inventory last year. So I don't have my cost of goods down. Um, I think I got it in a bag sell as well, though, if I remember right. But it just, it just set. And I was like, what the heck? Um, so I did sell these finally, um, for $18. And so my cost of goods, um, I got $14 and 20 or not cost of goods. Sorry. My profit was $14 and 21 cents. Of course, it doesn't have my old cost of goods in it. Um, I usually only tell you guys my cost of goods if it's, if I bought it this year. So Otherwise, I, it's it's already done. It's already filed with taxes. Like I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about looking it up. Um, so on the Thursday, the 25th, I had three cells. So that was a good day. That's my goal is three cells a day. Um, my my long term goal, looking ahead, three cells a day. Um, so Facebook, I had a Facebook sell, guys, and I I. If you post consistently to Facebook, you will make a random sell here and there. It's not like the old days during COVID where my Facebook was dinging all the time um, with sales. I did so good back then. And it was like all of a sudden, I don't know if people just got scammed a lot um, or what, but because I bought stuff on Facebook Marketplace and had shipped to me all the time. But I posted this vintage Cakes, I think jean overall romper shorts crow sunflower large adjustable they were so cute so cute I bought these on Ju July the 3rd my cost of goods was 79 cents I believe it was from a bag and crazy thing is I sold these to sort of a local person but they live 30 minutes away from me and she was like I'm just gonna buy them and have you ship them and she did, and um, they're supposed to be delivered today because um, I've already, you know, I shipped them. And <laughs> then this morning I was like, oh my God, I didn't ever write the, I didn't ever put the um, the shipping uh, tracking in there. 
And so I messaged her, I was like, hey, by the way, I did ship these on Friday the 26th and it's gonna be delivered today. So um, yeah, so I was super stoked. Facebook sale, I shipped it and I actually, I'm in communication with someone else regarding another Facebook sale. So um, anyway, I profited $22.87. I love picking up vintage overalls, vintage rompers. Um, I knew that the sunflower and the crow, um, kind of like that embroidered, it wasn't, it was like a patch. Um, I knew it was gonna sell, I knew. I was getting quite a bit of attention online with this as well. And so yeah, I, I sold it for $26, I was super happy. Um, so I hope she loves it. And then the same day, I had a bundle sell on Poshmark. I was super stoked. Um, the first one is this Oakley Sunglass Soft Case Black Zip um, Wrist Strap. And I got this, it was in my inventory from last year, but I paid little. I think I got it at a Goodwill Bins. So, you know, my cost of goods would have been little to nothing. Um, these Oakley, these sunglass cases will sell. You're not going to make a ton of money on them, but they will sell. I had this listed on Poshmark for $10. She bundled it with, um, these Choco Chilos black sandals. They were just the strappy sandals. They're size eight. Um, she paid $20 for those. I got the Chacos for $5 and 91 cents at the Goodwill here locally um, in July. I think July 13th, I think is when I got them. And so after the bundle um, and everything, I made $18.09 on all of that. And I was glad to see that Oakley case go because I have had them in inventory forever. Um, on Friday the 26th, this is the morning I came off of call. So I had been on call in the nighttime um, every night, um, up until this last Friday, the 26th. So I'm just trying to get my bearings. It took me a couple days to just kind of recoup <laughs> and I'm trying to get my bearings and get after it. So I sold this on Friday, this American girl doll. Um, it was for the 18 inch Julie retired. It was a two tone jeans. I bought this in a, I, I bought a bag of doll clothes for $3 at a thrift store. And I realized that these jeans were in that bag. And I was like, okay, I think I'm gonna take a chance and buy these. I, there were some Build-A-Bear clothing. Um, so I bought the bag for $3. I did not deduct it. I did not deduct it from my earnings on this, but um, I sold these jeans for seven. My earnings were $5.62. Um, and so if you deduct that bag, you know, my earnings were $2 and 62 cents, but I had way more, like I have a couple other, um, doll outfits I think posted. And then what I did is I have a generation doll in my flea market booth, but she needed clothes and there was a generation, um, outfit in there. So I used that to dress the doll in my booth and then I put the rest in a bag for sale in the booth. So essentially I'm, you know, I'm in the green, not for a lot, but I have other things listed for sale, if that makes sense. So um, on Saturday, I had a posh sale, another one, it was this vintage Lisa Dale sleeveless button up top. Um, I sold for $9 and my, my earnings were $4 and three cents. This was from, um, oh, I did give a shipping discount of $2.02. .02. Um, and this was from my like inventory two years ago. So it is what it is at this point. Um, I'm just ready to, I'm ready to see it go. So anyway, that I had eight sales total. Um, I made $84 and 87 cents. So, you know, I mean, it's a bummer, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm not going to just pout about it. Um, so what am I gonna do about it from this point on? So I have um, goals for myself this week for sure. And I am going to try my best because I, like today is Monday, I think this video will be up tomorrow. 
Friday, I actually start my call again, Friday night. And so my plan is to work so diligently this week so I can have drafts waiting for me. So here's my goals. I'm gonna tell you guys my personal goals for this week looking into next week. I want to list five items a day. That's my goal anyway. I just, I rarely like, I hit and miss it all the time. And so I wanna be consistent with that. Five items a day, that's, that's all five items a day, every day. Um, I have Vindu, so my daily goal for Vindu is to import items. So what I do is I post to eBay first, and then I just find that it's eBay's more strenuous on Vindu. So I find if you have Vindu, um, which is a cross-listing tool, and you pay for it. So I find that if I post to eBay like on my own, and then I import, I use Vindu and I import those listings, and then I cross post them to other places, I find that works easiest for me. Um, maybe you don't, um, that's just kind of where I'm at right now, I feel like it does. So my daily goal every morning is to import what I, what I listed on eBay the previous day, I'm gonna import those five items and I'm gonna cross post them out to the other platforms. I'm gonna share my Poshmark closet two times a day using my virtual assistant um, and that's something you would think it'd be really easy. All you gotta do is pull up your, v your VA and push start and it starts sharing your closet. But um, I usually do it once a day and I'm gonna try to start doing it twice a day, morning and night. And then on Monday and Friday, I'm gonna send offers with Poshmark. Some people do that daily. I don't know. I, I just, I feel like twice a week. I feel like sometimes it's just overkill. I don't know. Maybe that's why I'm not good with Poshmark. I don't know. But so I'm not really consistent at doing that either. I've been trying to do it at least once a week. So I'm going to do that twice a week now. Monday and Friday, I'm going to send Poshmark um, offers. Now, I do have my Vindu set up to send, like if someone likes my... Um, not Vindu, my virtual assistant. If someone likes something, it does, after like five seconds, it sends them an offer. But if I, sorry, I keep putting my elbows up here and it keeps, oh my gosh, I keep shaking this. Um, so it does send them an offer right off the bat, but then I'm gonna send bulk offers Mondays and Fridays. So, um, and then on, Every Wednesday and Thursday, I'm going to start having a 50% off eBay store um, for items listed over, I'm going to say over, you know, 30 to 60 days. I haven't figured that out, but I'm going to start having every Wednesday and every Thursday, I'm going to have a 50% off to try and clear out old inventory. And then... On Fridays, I am going to send coupons to previous customers on eBay. So if someone buys something from you, you can actually create a coupon and send them a coupon for like 20% off or so. I've had repeat buyers like that. So that's that's my goal. I'm gonna start doing that every, you know, Friday to try and get them, get more orders that way. So Anyway, that's my goals this week. I am, I got to get started today. Um, I, I think I, yes, I posted five items yesterday on Sunday, so I am on track. And I am just going to keep chipping away and you guys will know exactly like how good or bad I do. And if it, let's see if it makes a difference on my watts hold for this next week. Um, hopefully it does. Um, I have sold one item today on Poshmark. Super stoked. I had an offer and I accepted it. So my eBay's been a little rough lately. I don't, I've seen other sellers that have said their eBay sales have been really low. So I do think it depends on what you're selling. Um, there are going to be things someone's always going to be looking for. Um, but yeah, I just, 
It's kind of been a bummer lately, I guess. Um, so usually if I'm more consistent, you do see sales. And so if there's any encouragement to other part-time resellers, just make yourself list one item a day, at least. Make yourself list one item a day. I do feel that if you miss a day or two of posting things for sale, you, it reflects. Um, and that's just what I've seen in my cells. So I'm not saying that's the eBay algorithm. None of us have figured out the eBay algorithm, okay? Like I, <laughs> I just, I, some people think they like know, have all the answers. And, you know, I feel like the longer you have sold on eBay, you probably have figured out some things. I have figured out if I'm active daily and I at least sell something daily or post something daily for sale, I do, I do see more activity. And you know why? Like my eBay can be dead. Like I don't feel like I'm getting any activity. And then I post something for sale and no kidding, within 10 minutes, I get a send offer to eligible like listing it's like all of a sudden someone's looking at a listing and have saved it. And so it's like, okay, um, there is something to that. So anyway, just something I've noticed. Um, maybe you've noticed other things. Feel free to comment. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's my watch sold. And sorry I did not get one out for a couple weeks now, but anyway, here I am. <laughs> getting you my watch sold. So thanks so much for joining. Say, thanks so much for sticking around. And I, I've i noticed a few new subscribers and I super appreciate everyone that's followed, everyone that's been supportive of this crazy journey called reselling. So have a blessed day and go do something nice for someone. Thanks.